lot, right? <laughs> now, last but not the least, this is a overused phrase. So this is called a cliche, and we try to avoid cliches as much as possible. I don't remember who used this, but please make sure that cliches, some of these cliches, avoid from your language so that avoid from your speeches, just so that it makes it more powerful and more meaningful to the listeners. That's all I had today. I think I learned a lot, especially the, the beautiful use of English language was really manifest to, in today's chapter meeting. Uh, I encourage you all to continue to work on your vocabulary, on your the use of all of threes and all the other rhetorical devices, just so that your speech is much more impactful and meaningful to your audience. Thank you very much. Okay, um, in, the, oh, okay. in the interest of time, I'm just going to rush through this as quickly as possible. Claire, one R, uh, four ums, and one actually. Uh, Prabin, two so's. Uh, David, seven so's, four buts, and four reallys. Uh, Yao Fei, uh, one um, one you know, one N, uh, four and also. Two souls, one ya, and two secondly. <coughs> um, Adam with a near perfect score, uh, one soul. Uh, Rao, and uh, three and then, uh, eleven souls, and eight nows. Uh, Manju, timer, uh, with two souls. Um, Yun Yang with five R's, six M's, eight N's, and one soul. And the monumental, uh, monumental performance by Zayed with zero
done three speeches in all of them. Record, record, record. We must say that next time. Yes. Wow. Okay. <laughs> I think you're the only one who's achieved that, right? I have yeah, to achieve that one. Right? I know. Two out of three. Oh, but he's got three out of three. Yes. Oh, damn. One out of one. One out of one. Clad, one out of one. Two out of two. One out of two. Thank you.